Hello and welcome to Not Your Typical Sunday School from St. Mark's Episcopal Church in LaGrange, Georgia. My name is Alan Pruitt, the rector or priest in charge here, and each week we explore a story from Scripture by asking our three questions. Who is God? Who are we? What is God inviting or challenging us to do in this reading? First, I'll offer the reading and then we'll explore our three questions. Here's the reading. Jesus began to teach his disciples that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when He comes in the glory of His Father with the holy angels. Who is God in this reading? I have to take a step back before I even try to answer that. God is divine. That's one way to talk about God. Peter tells Jesus that he better not get crucified. And Jesus whips around saying, Get behind me, Satan. For you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. Who is God? What is divine in this reading? Jesus, crucified. I can't tell you why. I will tell you that God didn't plan on Jesus getting crucified. God doesn't plan on our suffering. God doesn't plan on human suffering. And Jesus was fully human. God doesn't cause our suffering. God didn't cause Jesus' suffering. No, no, that was us, us human beings. What is divine? What is divine is that God loves us enough to be crucified. God loves us enough to be Jesus, walking around, telling the truth. The truth was bold enough that people got angry, and they got angry enough to try and kill the truth. And God loves us enough to keep telling the truth, to keep loving us all the way to the cross. Who is God? God is the one who loves us all the way to the cross. Our second question. Who are we in this reading? Like always, or at least often, we are Peter. It's pretty typical. We are running after Jesus saying, No, sir, not my Jesus, not my Lord. You will not be getting yourself killed. And more than that, you won't be setting me an example like that. Pfft, pick up my cross and follow you. You've got to be kidding. We are the ones who want God to tone things down just a bit. Stop it with the love your neighbor. Stop it with the love the stranger. Stop it with that love your enemy stuff. Let me start with loving myself. Maybe, maybe I'll get to the rest of it. We are the ones who invite God to make things a bit easier. Our third question, what is God inviting us to do in this reading? Well, 
to take up our cross and follow Him. Now, God knows what that means. Jesus already died. He was already raised. We don't have to go die on any Calvary. But the command, well, it still stands. Deny yourself. Take up your cross. Follow Him. Follow Him on the way of telling the truth. Follow Him on the way of love. Maybe what He said to Peter, maybe it wasn't as angry as I first thought. After all, the only way to follow Jesus is to get behind Him. What do you think? How would you answer these three questions? Who is God? Who are we? What is God inviting us to do? Enjoy the questions. Blessings and have a good day.